Hey, welcome back, Survivalists. Today we're going over Battle Box Mission 83. We're going to be going over all the tactical and survival gear in this month's box. I have not opened this up yet. Holy cow. So hopefully we get some pretty cool stuff in this month's box. I'm always super excited when we get these odd-shaped boxes. This is actually upside down. That, that makes a little bit more sense. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. So this is the first Battle Box of 2022. And we got some pretty interesting stuff already. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into this Mission 83. And as always, we're going to be starting with the, uh, the knife of the month and then working our way back. So the knife of the month for this month is going to be the Tecto Elora. Tecto Elora. Hold on, I can't find the knife. Where's the knife? This little guy? Ah, here we go. It looks much bigger in the pictures. Here we go. So this is the Tecto Elora. Let's go ahead and open him up. Her up. Uh, wow, this is a really, really interesting knife. This is pretty wild looking. So I'm trying something new this time, and I've got a new camera. Actually, so oh no, nope, that's not even the right camera. Here we go. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're now we're talking. Check this thing out. Can you focus? There we go. This is actually my phone that I'm using here. So this is the Tacto, Tecto Elora. Really nice. Look at that, man. This is a really unique uh, design for a knife here. I'm not really sure, like, what, what kind of inspiration. This kind of looks like, you know, almost like Native American inspiration in some of these patterns and some of these designs. Um, so I really like this tip here, right? Um, you see that in, like, Tonto knives, um, so that's really meant for like impaling and like penetration. Really sleek profile to this thing, you know. Just this whole like outline of it is pretty interesting. Um, I love the uh, little patterns that they have here on the blade themselves, and then some really interesting texture and some um, patterns here on the scales. There's some grooves cut in here on the scales just to add a little bit more texture to it, I guess. Yeah, very nice. And let's see. So it is has a lock there. And I like the little knob there to flick it out just like that. It's very smooth, very polished. Um, I like this a lot. It's got a belt clip on there as well. So yeah, pretty, pretty snazzy knife, man. This thing is pretty slick. Oh, look at that. Gosh, dang, man. That thing, that blade profile right there is is pretty slick, man. I would not want to get uh, stabbed by something like that. And that's really kind of what this design is really meant for. Like, uh, maybe not self-defense necessarily, but penetration. So maybe you're cutting into a hide or you're cutting a sack, something like that. You have this tapered um, profile to the blade right there. So let me, uh, let me read off some stats here on this knife. Let's see, can I get this guy to focus? There we go. Oh, that looks even better. All right, so this guy is made out of 440C steel. It is um, blade length is 3.62 inches. Handle length is 4.56 inches. And the weight is 83 grams. as a 440C drop point. Yeah, it's got a drop point like profile or tip to the blade. I like it, man. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. I'll be honest, like, this is kind of a, a pretty wild-looking knife. I, I don't know if this is really my cup of tea. I don't know if this is really something that I would carry around. Um, but it, it feels like it has, like, a lot of, like, Native American uh, vibe to it. Like, some inspiration, uh, I guess, in just the stylization and the, the patterns on there. So, for some people, you know, that's that's their thing, you know? Uh, I like it. Very cool. And so this guy's worth a cost, cost you $100. If you guys are interested in this knife, I do have links to it down in the description below. It also does have a sheath that comes along with it as well. So just a nice little pocket knife. Got some interesting uh, designs on there. Nice drop point as well. Attach this right to your belt and you're ready to go with the Tecto Elora. All right, so let's move along to the next Next item in the battle box. Hold on. Let me get this back on. Oh, man. There we go. 
All right, so the next item moving along, let's go into the advanced box. So the advanced box this month is what this big item is here. <clears throat> and I, <clears throat> I've seen these before. Can you guys figure out what this is just by looking at it? Can you figure out what this is and what this is for? Uh, maybe a little confusing at first, but once you get this thing set up, this is pretty awesome. So this is the Gray Man Tactical Seatback Organizer. <clears throat> So what this is, is you attach this to the back of your car seat, or let's say your truck seat has spots for straps here, and then you can attach your Molly gear directly to this. So if you've got a, a knife sheath, or you've got a couple of these pouches, or you've got um, ammo pouches, or even a holster, any of these things, you can attach it right to here, kind of organize all your gear on the back of your car seat or your truck seat. And what's cool about these is that so it has holes here for like screws and for spacers. You can actually attach this to like your wall if you wanted to and have all your Molly and all your tactical gear right attached uh, to this. <clears throat> you can even attach this to the back of a door. Let's say you have a closet, uh, your coat closet, attach this to the back of your coat closet, you open it up, you have your first aid kit, your fire extinguisher and a knife and a radio and a walkie talkie and a med kit and all this other stuff right here, right at your fingertips, really organized right on the back of your door so let me see i should have some molly gear so this is my first aid bin here so here again something like this could attach right to it this one here is my first aid kit i actually got this in afghanistan in 2009 and i've been carrying it around ever since uh, because i really like this molly gear style uh and just this whole system here so what you do you feed that through there it's a little hard to do with one hand. Eh, that's a little bit easier. You feed it through, and then I have to feed it through the back here, and then try to snap these on. Let's see if I can get these guys to snap on. All right, so you actually have to play with it a little bit. I'm having a little difficulty getting in there. If this bag was empty, it'd be a lot easier for me. But as you can see, I'm giving up on that. But this is the kind of strapping system, this Molly gear. Um, they can easily attach this type of stuff to the back of your car seat or a first aid kit like this or gun holsters or ammo pouches or fire extinguishers, any number of things. This is going to be a Molly gear organizer for you. And I just love the fact you can do this, um, attach this to your house somewhere as well, right? You can have this on the back of a door. I can set this up on a wall back there and have all my Molly gear organized and attached on here so we got a couple comments so yeah tell me what do you guys think of this system and i'll tell you what i'm kind of kind of ruin the surprise so this is the pro box you get this large one in the advanced box you get the smaller one right so maybe something like this uh, you could put somewhere else in your car something like this you can even put this you know underneath of your desk um i think this is really designed for the sun visors right have this on your sun visor, folds out. You can have a handful of different things right there on your sun visor. You can also probably attach this to the back of your car seat as well. Um, but again, this is just a smaller version, so you can kind of organize your stuff wherever, anywhere in your house, anywhere in your car, wherever you can think to kind of attach this. I mean, it has these holes here for screws, so you probably could even attach this to your, your ceiling in your car, wh wherever you got to do it. Attach it to your trailer if you need to. Wow, Blade Edge looks great. So let's take a look at a few of these comments. I want you guys to know, uh, tell me your feedback so far on what you think of this Gray Man Tactical Seatback Organizer. Have, you, have any of you guys used that before? Um, I think it's pretty cool. And let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this pocket knife right here. I will say that that tip looks dangerous, man. That looks pretty uh, intimidating. Come on, focus. Just look at that point right there, man. That is, it's pretty sharp, man. Pretty, pretty wild style right there. I like it. All right. So this is the Tecto Elora. Uh, well, Blade Edge looks great. I prefer to go to a store and choose my knife rather than hope I get that one that I might use. Yeah, you can always do that. So the thing is with these battle boxes, you're saving a crap ton of money, right? You're combined all of this is a few hundred dollars so yeah you don't get to choose what knife you want but 
you're getting all the stuff at more than half off. That's kind of how, that's kind of what the trade off is with this type of stuff. Yeah, same. We got a thumbs up here. We got um, prison bars for campsite raiders. Okay. Oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Maryland, my Maryland. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm here in Maryland. Um, lived here most of my life. Nice channel, mate. Appreciate it. First aid kit is the only thing I need now. Uh, I'm from Dundalk. Nice, man. I'm not too far south from there. I'm in, uh, near Annapolis. All here. Avalanche, blah, blah. I like the rack OCD organizer here. Yeah, being organized is pretty important. One of the best things I've ever done, man, is uh, integrating this little system right here and kind of organizing all my gear in that way. Uh, so again, like all my first aid gear is in here. At least most of it. All the excess stuff, excess bandages I have kind of stored away, but most of my gear I keep right in there. I've got a crap ton of knives though. I got to find a good way to organize uh these this knife my, my knife collection it's getting a little out of control all right so that's everything in the pro box the pro plus and the advanced box let's move on to the basic box for this month and uh let's start with this you know black rifle company coffee company black rifle coffee company we've gotten uh black rifle company coffee before i've even got black rifle coffee mug it's one of my favorite coffee mugs to drink out of and uh yeah man this stuff's pretty good man i i like it i dig it i think um they're very heavily involved with veterans or um and veteran organizations you know I'm a, i spent 11 years in the air force uh so i totally support that uh this medium roast was developed to be the best drip coffee you'll ever taste featuring a cocoa and vanilla aroma bold tasting notes and a smooth buttery finish uh included in the founding roast blah, 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 serving premium coffee to people who love america Veteran owned, right? Veteran owned. I think they're very heavily involved in a lot of um, uh, just veteran organizations. Like those. Let's get my second camera up there. Look at that, man. I'm I'm moving up in the world. I got two cameras in my live streams now. All right, so let's move on. So that is uh, Black Rifle Coffee. We got two more items this month, and the first one is going to be this guy here. Let's go back to the secondary camera. Bam, look at that. So I love survival gadgets, and I also love carabiners. And so this is kind of combining my two of my favorite passions. This is the Outdoor Element Fire Escape Multi-Tool Carabiner. I love it, man. All right, I got to open this guy up. So this is just a cool little gadget, right? You know, I, I'm all about having secondary and tertiary um, purposes to tools. You know, you... You, you like you want you want to have a fire starter when you go camping, but you also want to have like a backup fire starter and then a a backup to that backup fire starter, right? You want to have multiple ways of starting a fire, filtering your water. Okay, I got one there. Hold on a sec. Let me open this guy up without cutting myself. The thing you really got to worry about when you're doing stuff like this is the tips breaking off. That's always super scary. Uh, yeah, I don't want to do too much pressure on the very tip of a knife like this. I'm on it held up just fine. No, no, uh, no splintering off there. I've had that happen, unfortunately, before where the very tip of the knife breaks off. And that's why they say, like, um, your knife is not a screwdriver. You don't want to use your knife as a screwdriver. Uh, that is how you break the tips off knives pretty pretty quickly. All right, so let's get back to my secondary camera here. Now we got a better look at this guy here. So what what in the world do we have? So before I even read it, let's see if we can figure out what I ha <clears throat> have right here. So obviously, you got a pretty nice looking carabiner here. I like that. Is this a look at that? Oh man. It's like a, like a Zippo. <clears throat> you got a little fire um, starter here. I like that a lot. Let's see, is this any better looking at it from this angle? Yeah, check this guy out, man. Pretty snazzy. So this is the fire starter right here. Oh. I like that a lot. How cool is that? 
And I think that it has a um, like a ferro rod in there that you can replace just like you would with a Zippo. I'm hoping it's the same um, type. Looks like you also have a glass breaker built into the tip of it right here. So you need to shatter some glass. You can do that with this. Um, and then what else? All right, I see a hex cut out right here. And what in the world is this guy here? Ah, you got a seatbelt cutter right here. So, you know, like when I was in Afghanistan, we all had these seatbelt cutters, a little tool that you carry around. So your Humvee flips over and cut the, um, the seatbelt. That's what that looks like right there. So it's got a blade right there. You could probably cut other things. I'm sure if you had some cordage, you could cut it with this. And so it's just kind of a much safer design than a free um, knife. And so I love this, man, because you can just attach this to the, your backpack. You know you're going to have a blade. You know you're going to have a fire starter built right into it. And so this is kind of like the sheath for this guy. Very cool. So let's kind of... All right. And look, it even has extra... Uh, steel strikers that come along with that and you can see a whole list of functions this guy has so let's go ahead and read off a few of these functions and uh, make sure let's see we figured all of them out right it's kind of like a game figuring out everything this little tool can do all right so we got the ever spark fire wheel throw sparks makes fire all right so we got that guy right there i like it i like that a lot replaceable utility blade seatbelt webbing etc so that's this guy right here underneath of this cover, that sheet, that's this guy right there. You got the uh, carbine pin window breaker. We found that, and that's this guy. Oxygen bottle wrench, four or five can be used as hang slots. Keys, gear, tinder, vial, get creative. Oxygen bottle wrench. I'm guessing that's these two guys right here. And they're saying that this is a hang slot, so you can attach your keys to that, I suppose that's what they're saying. Or you can attach other hooks and cordage to these little holes here, I guess. Uh, quarter hex wrench bit driver. Ah, oh, it's a bit driver, right? So you have, um, you can stick a bit in there with your Phillips or flathead or whatever else. That makes sense. Bottle, bottle opener. Okay, so that's... Just this guy right here can be used as a bottle opener as well. Stainless steel, strong, corrosion resistant, rated for 125 pounds. That's good, right? You want, there's a lot of cheap carabiners out there. You really want one that um, can hold the weight. Ferro rod may be replenished by unscrewing and removing the set screw and spring. Okay. So they're saying that in here there's a spring and a screw and you can remove that to replace the ferro rod. Very cool, man. So look, I'm always happy with new gadgets uh, like this. I really like carabiners as well. I did a, a top 10 list not that long ago. Maybe it's 10 items every man should carry with them daily. I think a carabiner was one of those items. I'm a big fan of carabiners. I'll have a link to this one down in the description below if you want to find out more. This is the Outdoor Elements Fire Escape Multi-Tool Carabiner. So let's take a look at a few of these questions we got here. I like the rack. Where have I been, dude? I know. It's been like a month since I uploaded anything on this channel. I'm, I'm embarrassed. This box has actually been sitting here for a good while now. I, I really need to get back into that rhythm of uh, just putting out content, man. Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> Life happens, you know? It gets in the way sometimes. Two cams, twice as many spying on you. <laughs> yeah. 3D print. You own carabiner out of plastic? What? How do you pre 3D print a carabiner? Like you have a spring in there as well. I mean, I don't know. Impressive carabiner though. Uh, I like on the knife blade, on the reviews, the blade looks same, no difference. The rest of the stuff, if it fits, you need, so, so be it. So you say, all right, good, man. So you're saying this knife got some pretty good reviews. I'm happy to hear about that. I mean, it's a cool knife. I just, I'm not too wild about like the colors and I, I guess that design. The blade though is pretty interesting. I, I don't mind the blade. Uh, I guess really just the scales. I guess I'm not as wild about, but this blade is pretty, pretty slick, man. I like that. All right, so we got one more item in this month's battle box. Let's take a look at what the final item is. That is this guy here. 
uh, Eva Dry E250 Mini Dehumidifier. So my understanding of this guy is that it is like a portable dehumidifier. You don't have to plug into the outlet. You charge it up, you stick it somewhere, and it acts as a dehumidifier. Um, and I, I think it has like some crystals or something in there, and then they eventually get too saturated. So then you have to take it out, charge it up, and then heats them up and de moisturizes them, I guess. And then you can reuse the thing over again. And so some examples I've seen people use this for is like a gun safe, right? You can't really have an electric dehumidifier in there, uh, but you also don't really want, you don't want to have uh, moisture in a gun safe either, you know? I have, I have a lot of knives, man. I need to do something with those knives, put them away someplace safe. And having a dehumidifier is probably a great idea. And so you can see here, you have the outlet plug there. And uh, you can hear like the sands and the crystals in there. And it has a light system here. Focus, come on. There we go. It tells you when it's wet versus when it's dry. Oh, you can, you can actually see those crystals in there. So it'll tell you when it's wet and dry, when you need to recharge this. And I think recharging it is just heating it up it heats up and it evaporates the moisture in there. And so yeah, for a gun safe, great idea. Um, I've got a little storage room back there and I keep all my camping equipment there. And when I go camping, like I try to dry everything off the best I can. It, it, is, it doesn't always happen though. You know, um, sometimes it, it's got sweat and you got condensation and maybe it rained. And sometimes you're just exhausted when you come back, you throw everything in your, your closet. That's not the best thing, right? And that's how you get mold and mildew and you get the things start deteriorating. So having, you know, a dehumidifier that you can stick in your closet, you know, or whatever with all your camping gear to help keep it dry, I think is an excellent uh, use. I, you know, just being a homeowner, I can think of a lot of uses for a good dehumidifier like this, um, especially with all the gear and equipment that we have. I've got a lot of water filters um, and those are kind of a pain in the neck, man. You go and use like, uh, the survival filter pro or something you have to pump it out and you get all these hoses and everything's wet in there and you come back you have to like dry them out before you put them away uh, sometimes you know i pull them out six months later there's still some moisture in them which is not good um so something like this again just keeping it with your camping supply keeping it with your preps i think is uh just an excellent idea so that is everything in this month's battle box so yeah, not a lot of variety in this month. The two biggest items were the um, the Gray Man Tactical Headset, uh, Tactical Hard Set Organizer, and the small one of those, small one is fifty dollars. The big one is a hundred dollars. So that kind of ate, ate into a lot of the um, the money for this month's box. But very cool, man. Like if I I, I got to find some good creative ways to use this. Um, I, again, I just love the idea of attaching it to my wall somewhere. Um, or really, I, I love the idea of attaching it to the back of my door, right? You can attach it to the back of your, let's say you wanted to have a concealed weapon, you know, by your front door. You get to attach this, keep it up high so kids can't reach it and have, you know, your gun, maybe ammo pouches or something um, right there by your front door. Maybe not the best idea if you have kids, but that's just an idea, right? You can get really creative with these types of things and just helps you organize your life a little bit more. Uh, yeah, sorry guys, I haven't been uploading much lately. I really need to get on that. I had to go out of state for um, a good while. I, I went upstate New York, uh, visited some family up there. I was up there for a couple of weeks and then came back just playing, been playing catch up on my, my own businesses, my other businesses. Um, but once I kind of get back into the, the groove of things, uh, I, I had to do some more content uh planned keeps the different designs available you know i want to do a couple of um challenges I, i've been doing some research on youtube and seen a lot of people like doing these survival challenge videos i think those look awesome they um they look like a lot of fun you know and i you know maybe i'll do um 20 dollar dollar store survival challenge you know 48 hours in the woods with 20 dollars worth of dollar store gear something Kind of cool like that i think once i get a little bit better weather um i get some time i'm gonna do some cool stuff like that um but all right guys that's all i got for you stay safe um and yeah i appreciate you guys i'll see you in the next one